<laughs> Welcome to Saints Unscripted. We have a special guest. This is Jason Harwood, host of Help Me Understand the Book of Mormon. It's a great podcast. So you should go subscribe to that podcast <laughs> um, on, on Apple Podcast. Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and there's a new podcast app that's called Himalaya Podcast. Okay. Mm. Easy to use. So one of those three is the best, or I mean, any podcast catcher that you're using. All right. And find the interview with Kwaku. Oh yeah. yes, I've been on it. Yeah. I've been on the podcast. An upcoming interview with Justin. <laughs> he asked me like a, like months ago, you know, and, and I like we'll get it. I, I just get busy. Yeah. It'll yeah. happen. And It'll I, happen. <laughs> If you don't know, go check out Justin's Instagram feed because what I think you're busy with is all the coloration that you okay. do. Okay. <laughs> like, like all the black and white background. And have you it, seen yeah. that? It looks cool feed? though, right? I know. It is, okay, it thank is you. very I'm cool. I'm glad. Yeah. I it's very that you noticed that. I just have no idea how you do it. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh. Well, uh, you're going to talk about. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I'm going to talk about. Okay. Here's the challenge. Here's why I do the podcast. I've been doing Help Me Understand the Book of Mormon for like four years. Um, and I taught seminary for about five years mm -hmm. up in Ogden. Go O-Town. Uh, the mighty Ben Loman Scott. Uh, <laughs> have you ever been to Ogden? Uh, no. No. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 you have? I have a friend from, from Ogden. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, good. I've been like to Logan. The, oh, then close. you've driven through Ogden. Yes. So I taught seminary, and maybe you guys have heard this same thing, but I, I talked with a lot of people, and I would always hear this line, I've read the scriptures, but I don't understand them. Mm -hmm. And I heard that over and over and again from students. I hear it even from adults. It doesn't get better as you get older, your, mm -hmm. your understanding <laughs> level. You guys are like at your peak. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Seriously, like that. like, don't you love it? When forty-year-olds are like, "Trust me, it's all downhill from here." Uh, <laughs> so sad. Goes home, cries in yeah. bed for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. So, but I heard this over and over again, and this is a slight problem because in the parable of the sower, we're studying it this year with "Come, Follow Me." In the parable of the sower, the difference between the seed that is in the stony ground that the birds come and eat. Mm -hmm. And the seed that's in the good ground is the Savior taught that the seed enters into their heart and they understood it. And that's what really drove me to say, gosh, I need to do a podcast trying to help people just understand the scriptures. And what I found is three keys. Uh, I think there's three things you can do to better understand the scriptures as you're reading them. That's what we're going to talk about. Awesome. Okay, sweet. Yeah. But yeah so, so what's the first? Okay. First so key? first of the three yeah. keys. Now, I will say this. I love it when President Nelson and, and other prophets have given us challenges to read the Book of Mormon in a short time frame. It is really good. Mm -hmm. But I think in general, outside of that, number one thing you should do to understand the scriptures is slow down. Um, because I'll tell you a story. Um, when I was, I'll never forget this, because when I was in... Um, high school, I took an AP history class, AP US oh, cool. history. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And I'll never forget the first like chapter we were supposed to read and test because I read the chapter and, <laughs> and it was like, you actually I, yeah, did I know, I, did, I yeah. know, I know. I'm a weird case where I actually would read chapters. And then I went in to do the test and I did really poorly on that test. And I thought, what in the heck? Yeah, that's, that sucks. Uh, that's the worst. I know. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, I read the chapter. <laughs> yeah. You should do yeah, that. Exactly. Shouldn't that be enough? Right? I should read the chapter. And I and then I went and talked with the teacher. I'm like, you know, what are some things I could do to do better? He said, well, did you mark key phrases? Oh. Oh. Was I supposed to do that? Right. Yeah, <laughs> right? exactly. And, and so much of our scripture study is the same way. Most people that I talk to, if I said, you know, what are you doing in your scripture study? Oh, I try to read a chapter a night. Okay, right. that's really good, right? But but yeah. think back to when you were in um, high school or college or whatever. If you really wanted to understand something, most often you had to slow down, you had to mark things, highlight things, do a little bit more than just reading. So I always right. tell people, if your goal is a chapter a night, I don't know, that's probably too aggressive. Um, you should, especially some chapters, spend a couple of days. I did a project once, personal project, where I read every single footnote. Oh, man. That's a lot. That's of, a lot. That is a like, lot. So if of I work. did, yeah. if in like in half an hour, if I did three or four verses, 
that was That's because yeah, that yeah. was like mid Alma when it was like you know, <laughs> like yeah. on every page there's like three footnotes. Right. But man, I really understood what I was reading because I had to slow down so drastically. So number one, slow down. Yeah. In your reading. Yes. That's really cool. What I, what I like about that too is I think we get in the where it's that comparison factor where you feel like oh I have to read more as much as other people are. Yeah. But like one verse, if that's your pace and your understanding and growing, like I don't think Heavenly Father's upset. Yeah. That like you only read one verse if you're actually growing. Because I think that's what we do sometimes. I'll be like, oh, I only read one verse today. That makes me bad for some reason, <laughs> you know, like compared yeah. to what? Like compared to what yeah. standard? So that, that's cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I don't know why we think we're in some kind of race. There, there's yeah. not, there's no scripture out there that says you should read the Book of Mormon once a year. Uh, or a chapter a night. Or a chapter like, a night. Yeah. Yeah. I, I go really slow because I, I kind of study along with my own little cute podcast that I do. And I do like two episodes a week, which means I'm focusing in on focusing really deep on two chapters a week. That's cool. So, <laughs> so this is second key. Oh, or, yeah. yeah. Second we... key. Uh, so key number one was slow down. Key number two is write it down. Yes. Um, yes, like, I agree. You, uh, and there's mm. so many good study guides out there. I'll tell you, I have one. I love it. You can get it at helpmeunderstandlds.com. And it's really, it's kind of a study journal yeah. where I put in uh, my favorite verses from every chapter, some quotes from modern leaders, from general conference talks, and then application questions that, that you can write stuff down. But even if you don't use that, use the, the Book of Mormon or Doctrine and Covenants or even the Old Testament. Uh, the seminary and institute manuals, you can get them on the Gospel uh, Library app. Yeah, Those are really free. good. If you haven't been through like the seminary, Old Testament, uh, we'll use the Old Testament, the Old Testament study manual, I know you're like, oh, this is seminary stuff. Trust me, there's great it's things crazy in there. It's crazy what you learn. Yeah. Like on, yeah. my, on my mission, you know, you get so bored that you would like read anything you can get, you know? <laughs> and we would sit there on P-Day, we would just sit there with the seminary manual and be like, did you see this? Like, how did we never know? These like yeah. random, and it's not just facts, but it's just like understanding of gospel principles. Yeah, That's really cool. <laughs> That's, that's what missions is all about. Yeah, the so the highlight of the day the is what you just learned in the, oh, no. the seminary. Uh, and, well, and then, and then, yeah. but then it gets a little crazy because then you like start to spin off and be like your own understanding. <laughs> and then we like these weird conversations about like, but who was Mary really in the pre-mortal life? You know, like stuff that has nothing to do with anything, but like. Yeah. That's the problem with yeah, missions. That, that is the problem. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. Uh, but, but writing it down is important, right? Mm -hmm. Do you keep a journal? You write things down? I write things down because, well, one, it helps you remember where you were when you left off when you're studying your scriptures. It also helps you connect things because sometimes you're reading something and you make a connection and you write that connection down. A year later, you'll go back and see that connection. You'll be like, wow, yeah. I understand. Mm -hmm. So right. uh, I, it's really, really important to write. In fact, well, God tells Joseph Smith to write things down all the time. And well, he yeah. always forgets. I like yeah. what you said there. Like a year later, that, that's what's key too is writing it down and like revisiting past oh, yeah. studies and journals and stuff because I feel like a lot of the time you write stuff down and maybe in the moment it's not that applicable, but a few months later you're in a trial or whatever, open up your journals and I think Heavenly Father can lead you to past revelation to help you yeah. in the moment. It's yeah. true. Yeah. That's true. And and that's where I think really the Holy Ghost comes in, right? Uh, 2 Nephi 32, the, the Spirit will tell you all things what you should do. I think the Holy Ghost, in my experience, it's a lot about application. I'm, I'm thinking, and, and the Holy Ghost more tells me what I should do more than just telling me what that verse means, right? right? Like, right. there's still Isaiah verses. I have no idea what it means, and that's okay. But if I read an Isaiah chapter, I can usually come away with something I can write. Okay, I can take something away from this. So yeah. um, slow down, write it down. Um, and, and there's lots of great study guides out there that can, that can help you do it. So slow down, write it down. I wish the third one had down in it. Slow yeah, down, write it down. Yeah, maybe we can like, well, well. You can help me? Yeah, what is the third okay. one? Okay, so the can... third one is live it. Okay. Slow down. Can't break it down. Br break it down. Can't say live it down. Dance break it, it. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it down. Doesn't break it? down. No. I, um, man. Okay, you, you, you share what it means and then we'll, yeah. like, we'll be like working because, in the background. Yeah. The whole purpose of the scriptures is that we live differently. If yeah. you're not doing something different from your study, then I, you know, I don't think in, in terms of, um, this is just my personal opinion, but I don't think in terms of that seed and, and the parable of the sower, I don't think the word really gets into our hearts until we make 
a change in something that we're doing. When I was going through um, seminary, one of my uh, teachers that was teaching me, he always said this phrase. He said, if it doesn't apply, why try? If, if we're not like cool. applying the scriptures to our life. And, and um, you see the same thing like in the duty to God for young men. We're trying to teach young men to build testimonies, build faith, grow in their spirituality. And the three steps are learn, act, and share. Right. Mm -hmm. And and so it's that acting that's so important. So mm -hmm. w when I talk with people about understanding the scriptures, I say, OK, you've read a few verses. Now start thinking. And this is, I believe, really where God starts to talk to you and the Holy Ghost starts to impact you. But what are you going to do as a result of reading, you know, I don't know, section 88 of the Doctrine and Covenants? Yeah. Right. Well, I feel like when you when you're living it out. You have the spirit with you more anyway, and then your scripture studies are going to be better. So it's kind of a full circle right there. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't circle it down. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was going for more. I was like, don't sit down or, or sit down. No. That did... <laughs> See, I, I, yeah. I got to tweak it. I yeah. Tweak it. No, that's yeah. okay. But yeah, I agree. I agree. Like, well, it goes back to being doers. Yeah. Not just hearers of the word, but, but acting on what we learn because... It's, it's, I mean, I always bring it back to health because I feel like that's the most relatable. It, like, if you read that you should have so many vegetables a day, but you never do it, that knowledge does you nothing. I know. They're good for you, so eat them too, for teeth so strong, your whole life long, eat celery and carrots by the bunch. I know I'm Literally, supposed to have like, right. to five or, or, like, you yeah. shouldn't, I shouldn't eat Chick-fil-A every day. Like, <laughs> it, like, I know why that's bad, but if I don't act on it, then it doesn't help me out at all. My bank True. account just... And your, yeah. your health also <laughs> yeah, exactly. goes down. Mm. <laughs> but maybe that's it, right? Maybe we should go completely opposite. So it's slow down, write it down, get up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're going to go the opposite way. Yeah. And yes, okay, cool. get up and get up and do. Um, and uh, so tonight, right, when you're reading the scriptures, I would slow down. Only read a few verses. Write something down that comes to your mind. Write something down. Just get a blank piece of paper. And then think through, how should I live differently tonight or tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, what is the service I should give? How should I show more love? Here's the thing. It's interesting because so much of the application of the scriptures is, is the same because it's all about love God, love your neighbor. Right. Almost every story right. it can come back to that. I have a question maybe like because something that's happened to me is I'll be reading and maybe I go through a verse or two and I don't really get anything out of it because it's like, Oh, and like Moroni's army beat these people. Yeah. You know, and so like yeah. maybe, or maybe at the moment it didn't touch me. Is it, should I just keep reading until I find something that touches me? Or should I focus so much on one verse until I like kind of get something out of it? Um, well, it's important to, to define how, when we say touches, right? So yeah. um, not all the scriptures are supposed to bring you warm fuzzies. Warm fuzzies. Yeah, right, they're very, not. Very true. Sometimes yeah. it's supposed to be intellectually stimulating. They're supposed to make you think. So a lot of the Book of Mormon um, is reflective of society. It has a more of a, hey, watch for these mm -hmm. things in your society. So when I'm reading the Book of Mormon, yeah, you, you will understand the, the scriptures about salvation and about discipleship and about coming nearer to God. But then there's the, here's what you do as a person in a society right. who is a disciple. And when all this stuff is going on, this is how you should act, and this is what's going to happen, right? So there's a right. lot of different parts of it, and if you only look for the warm fuzzies... A warm fuzzy. You're going to be disappointed by every scripture no, that's, there that's, is. That's, you know? that makes, yeah, yeah, that's a really yeah. good point. I think that's... Like, not every night that you read is going to be like... This. <gasps> oh, my gosh! Yeah, you, know, you want that, that's go get, okay. like, a Pinterest poetry book. Where they have, <laughs> like, you know... No, that's a really good point. Like, yeah, if, like, if you go every night thinking that this verse is going to change my life, you're probably going to be disappointed. Mm -hmm. And how the, because I don't know if that's what the scriptures are. Brother, I'm going to open to a random scripture and whatever it is is going to touch my heart. <laughs> Yay, and he smote off their arms. <laughs> Sometimes my sin needs to be smote <laughs> off. You know, like, you can, if you really want to find any way to bring it in, you can, but, you know, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, the, and the random scripture thing is crazy because I've heard all sorts of stories of people yeah. who, who, like, have a, but if that's your every night <laughs> practice, because even like that, right, like if I read three or four verses and I'm not getting much out of it, okay, then read a few more verses. Um, I, again, it, it's not reading a chapter, but it's also not just saying, I'm going to read four verses a night. Right. It's really it's kind of like spirit of the law. Yeah. Like it's not just read for the sake of reading, but like right. let's actually try to grow. 
yeah. in some way. And again, if I did, if I was in that position, then I probably would go to like the Book of Mormon Institute manual and say like, man, what? I'm, there's probably a quote or a question in there that's helpful to kind of get me thinking in a different way. So yeah. I would I would use some of the the tools that are available. That's cool. No, yeah. that's because that's something that I that, that I would hit because I. I, for a while, was trying to, I'm just going to read one verse a night, mm. and I would try that, and I would, like, try to be, like, kind of do what Quaker was saying, like, like try to pull, <laughs> pull all this, like, spiritual stuff, and then one night I read, like, just a verse, and I was like, uh, <laughs> I was like, I don't think that helped me at all, mm-hmm. and I think that's okay, there's, like, transitional scriptures, like, verses and stuff, just part of the, the story, Yeah. but, no, that's yeah. a good point, like, that we can keep reading, what's the, why are you reading, what's your intent yeah. behind the study, yeah. yeah. Well... I think we've got an episode. (laughs) (laughs) Three keys. Those are those. Three keys. Yeah. Three keys. Slow down. Write it down. Get up. Well, Jason, thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, my pleasure. It's been fun. You dressed up. We dressed down. Yeah, that's all right. I Um, I appreciate. I I appreciate. (laughs) You bring some class to the show. (laughs) Usually, uh, every like like actual adult who comes to the show actually dresses the way they're supposed to but we don't well it's kind of it's kind of the the image of like you know yeah it's yeah, true definitely. when i when i record my podcast usually i'm not usually mm. i'm yeah. oh no now when i i'm gonna have in my mind you not wearing that during your podcast i mean i'm always <laughs> in a full suit <laughs> oh okay <laughs> that's what people think though that's what people think we yeah. dress like we're always in a full suit like always clean shaven no it's not yeah. what human beings are see this <clears throat> that's like two weeks Oh, crazy? that's only two weeks? Yeah, okay. Well, we're probably going to. Yeah, uh, it's, right. it's fine. It's the cut. We're done. <laughs> like, it's not... So, check out his podcast. Um, you also have your Instagram account. Yep. And um, you, you can find stories that are enlightening and maybe will inspire you in your personal study. Yeah, or go to helpmeunderstandlds.com, the website. You can get links there, too. Cool, awesome. And watch more of these episodes. I've watched many episodes of Saints Unscripted, even back when it was the other name that we can no longer say. And <laughs> I, I love your... The topics are powerful. I, you guys you. do a great job. It's really That's good. Nice. It's really good. Something great to fill your life. There's plenty of garbage out there and things you should not spend your time watching anyway so watch Saints Unscripted instead oh that's (laughs) (laughs) 